In Sudan's capital of Khartoum, Abu Bakr El Sharif meticulously works on his latest mosaic masterpiece. Today, he's assisted by his colleagues. Together, they hope that the art form could become popular in the country. Unfortunately, we don't pay attention to mosaic art in Sudan. It is almost non-existent. I started spreading this art form in Sudan as much as I can. I started training students and they are now producing some very good work which I am very happy about. We travel abroad and see murals and artwork reflecting national figures, but unfortunately, we don't have these. His passion for mosaic art began 17 years ago and he started teaching aspiring artists in 2010. Now he has an even bigger and new ambition. I want to address corporate social responsibility departments. If every company decided to finance the work of four murals of four national or religious figures and we choose certain locations for them, our country will be full of these pieces after five or six years. After we finish the pieces, we can add a label that explains the biography of each character to get to know them. Mosaic art can be traced to the third millennium BC. It flourished with the rise of the Roman Empire, especially on the walls and ceilings of churches. Today, it's more popular in North African countries that were once ruled by the Roman Empire like Egypt, Libya, Tunisia, Algeria and Morocco. Sudan is not known to have a culture for mosaic art. In fact, it's not until 2005 that it was introduced in fine and applied art schools. As Sharif spreads this unique art across walls in Khartoum, he is optimistic that it's only a matter of time before Sudanese people embrace these unique and beautiful designs. Wanja Mungai, CGTN.